42% of green claims by companies are exaggerated, false or deceptive. Fashion houses say they're sustainable without saying how. There's a word for this. It's called greenwashing. The actual cost of fast fashion is high. The greed for profit has led to the fashion industry operating with neither accountability nor transparency. Contrary to a balanced supply and demand, companies flood market with apparels, forcing the clothing in circulation to lose their value quickly, as the new collections make them less fashionable. Low prices, which have become the norm, make it easy for consumers to continuously replace and discard their belongings. This buy-dispose cycle has spread throughout the apparel business with negative implications, taking us to our primary problems of overconsumption and overproduction. However, the question remains, what can we do to solve this problem? As the story behind every article of clothing we wear unraveled, we grew vigilant of the precarity and informality posed by fast fashion. We developed cognizance of the problems with which fast fashion affects every sphere of human life. Finally, the conscience we groom and the entrepreneurial spirit at Enactus Whips served as an inspiration which motivated us to institute Project Tehseen. We took notice of the perilous circumstances wherein more than 1 million tons of articles are thrown away every year in India alone. This is also the third largest source of municipal solid waste in the country. While the average number of times a piece of clothing is worn has decreased by 36% in the last 15 years, a study as per the UN published in 2019 illustrates that global clothing production has doubled. And so every year, approximately 59,000 tons of second-hand and unsold clothing reaches the landfills globally. These figures do not take into account the textile waste from the production processes. Producing clothes at such a cheap cost comes at a great environmental expense. Throughout the production cycle, the fashion industry is responsible for 8% of carbon emissions worldwide and uses approximately 93 billion cubic meters of water. Adding to this, the washing solvents and coloring dyes used in manufacturing processes are responsible for one-fifth of industrial water pollution. This results in water scarcity in many textile producing regions. Polyester, which is now the most widely used fibre in our apparel, takes more than 200 years to degrade and uses about 70 million barrels of oil every year. In the commercial scenario, fast fashion brands score less than 10% on Fashion Transparency Index and result in a loss of more than $500 billion due to clothing underutilization and wastage. Not only this, the exploitative industry makes use of low-skilled labour supply in the markets which have fewer options to work in a formal environment. As manufacturing becomes cheaper and labour becomes more plentiful, the workers have less bargaining powers relative to factories regarding wage. While 93% of existing brands don't even pay a living wage, even the legal minimum wage is not enough for a worker to live and meet the basic needs of a family. Women in fashion industries tend to earn significantly less than men. They face systematic discrimination and they are only able to access the lowest paid jobs with poor prospects of promotion. Many of them have low work security and if they are not prepared to work on the terms set out by their employers, they run the risk of losing their jobs. Concerning society, the tailoring sites are often witnessed to be male-dominated. When it comes to specialization, the need is fulfilled by those colloquially called as Master G. We decided to reform this image by encouraging women's participation in economic and skill development activities. Thus, with focus on planet, people and prosperity, Project Tehseen was instituted by Enactus Whips to solve the problem of textile waste in fast fashion. Known as Katrin, the discarded textile is used to produce products of utility such as masks, tote bag, scrunchies and accessories while addressing social and environmental problems. Through Tehseen, the representation and ownership of the women community in the fashion landscape exists like a glimmer of hope. To increase representation, Enactus Whips identified a community with the help of our NGO partner Prabhav and began the journey of working towards reducing gender inequalities. During our community assessment, we found out that our community had immense potential but could not come out of the cycle of poverty due to restricted possibilities. 
This is when we stepped in and integrated our enterprising community of women. So far, we have directly impacted the lives of seven women entrepreneurs, trained over 15 women, and indirectly impacted over 30 highly enterprising individuals. All of them have been observed to keep up with their livelihoods and prosper with the generation of a handsome income. Through their scene, the women have also learned about industry standard practices and higher paying skills such as pattern making. All of this through organized training sessions with industry professionals. Being an enterprise owned by women which makes decent work accessible, we are proud to have made substantial progress in compliance with Sustainable Development Goal 5 and 8. At Tehseen, we also work as guardians of future generations and have pledged to make sustainability an important aspect of daily lifestyle. To uphold our principle of responsible consumption and production, we work as facilitators between clothing mills and our entrepreneurs, assisting these upcoming independent women in establishing a stable source of income through a constant supply of orders and raw material. To tackle the problem of textile waste, we procure katran from a number of suppliers, majorly consisting of boutiques and small mills, along with big chain suppliers like Mafatlal and Basata. The collected katran is then sent to the community for production. So far, we have processed over 2,350 kilograms of katran, contributing to reduction in cloth wastage, along with reduction in power and water consumption. Since its inception, we documented a reduction in carbon emissions by 38.07 tons. To utilize their enterprise, the women produce different products like scrunchies, tote bags, hair ties, pouches, as well as earrings out of the katran, demonstrating the viability of a sustainable lifestyle. So far, we have produced 1500 articles, approximately worth 1 lakh rupees in market value. By reusing the existing fibers and textiles, Tehsin reduces the need for newly manufactured fibers, thereby complying with Sustainable Development Goal 12 of responsible consumption and production. Viewing the community as owners and not just participants, all the profit generated helped the women by providing them a better income. Through marketing endeavors across Delhi, Tehsin generated Rs 82,000 in revenue supporting a 40% increase in the monthly income of our community on an average. We predict a 48% revenue jump towards the end of this year, substantiated by projects in the pipeline. Hello, I'm Jacinta Michael. I'm from 8-9 years old in our stitching line. We got to get Prabha Foundation through Inactus. We got a project from Inactus to Prabha Foundation. जो तहसीन के नाम पे हैं और उन्होंने हम पे ट्रस्ट किया और इस काम के लिए हमें सेलेक्ट किया और काफी सारी चीजें जो अब तक हम लोग इतने सालों से एक ही चीज को बनाते हैं जैसे स्टिचिंग लेडीज वियर यही अब तक हम लोग करते थे अब नई चीजें जो हैं हम लोग तहसीन के थ्रू बैग्स टूट बैग्स पाउचर्स जानकारी भी नहीं, वो सब चीजें हम पहले हम इनसे सीखते हैं कैसे करना है, क्या करना है, और काफी हमें हेल्प करते हैं, सपोर्ट करते हैं, और आगे जो मेरे से जुड़े हैं लेडीज, वो लोग भी जो हैं इस चीज को लेके कर रहे हैं, और वो भी काफी खुश हैं, और वो सब इस काम में इतना एक्सपोर्ट हो गया है, अब आराम से और हम बहुत थैंक्सफुल हैं टैसिंग के लिए प्रभाव फाउंडेशन के लिए और जो टैसिंग जो इनेक्टर्स के जिनका प्रोजेक्ट है उसके लिए हम बहुत बड़े थैंक्स Our project achieved self-sustainability after the initial round of investment from our partner Silver7. Tehsi, after the pilot ended, surpassed itself within a few months to reach its first goal of operational self-sustainance. It earned enough revenue with a 60% net profit margin to flourish. This enabled us to reinvest the profits generated and to plan our expansion and future endeavors. Our efforts have not been left unnoticed as Project Tehseen has received acclaim worldwide through Forbes Marquee and El Diario. During this beautiful journey, we faced many problems and obstacles, just like any budding entrepreneurial initiative. 
the outbreak of COVID-19 slowed down our operations. The pandemic impacted our logistical base greatly. However, it also gave us an opportunity to introduce new products such as face masks while shifting the operations online and instilling another skill in our community. We have been long dedicated to making positive change and driving progress with sustainable fashion. We plan to push further for positive transformation and further aim to establish one to two training centers, allowing us to scale our production and expand skill set of the community by training them in traditional Indian handicrafts. Enhance accountability by establishing measures, allowing our customers to verify the authenticity, sustainability and origin of our product, allowing for greater transparency in our operations. Expand our mode of sales through B2B sales in form of corporate gifting and wholesale orders. Register the scene as an MSME till 2024. In all of this, while continuing to expand our impact to 30 lives directly and over 200 indirectly till the end of 2023. At Enactus Whips, we believe in being the catalyst of change and a beacon of hope. We believe in resilience and channeling entrepreneurial passion to create a paradigm shift. We edify, innovate, empower and change. We are Enactus Whips.